Here we have the SID GJ2C LED TV backlight tester. This tester uses AC power and comes with two test probes. There are multiple tests that can be run using this device. You can test the cable running to the LEDs in your TV. You can test an individual LED strip. And also you can test individual LEDs. One great thing for TV repair is if you have the symptom of no backlights in your LED TV, you can use this device to help determine if the problem is the LED backlights or the power supply slash LED driver board by directly testing the backlights. The first test we will show is how to test the cable running to the LEDs in a TV. Most cables will come from the power supply or LED driver board and run to the LEDs in the panel. I will start by identifying which test point on the connection is positive and which is negative. You can do this by looking on the board to see if they are labeled, or the individual wires may be labeled as well. Your TV may have one connection to the LEDs or multiple. It is important to test all of them to see which, if any of the LEDs are bad. I have powered on my tester and now will insert the probes into this wire connection. Give the device five seconds to allow it to adjust the voltage. Next, I can check to see if any of the LEDs are turning on. If you have removed the TV panel, you can look on the screen side of the TV to see if anything is illuminated. If you have not removed the panel, you can look through the back of the TV to see if anything has lit up. It may help to be in a dark room when looking through the back panel. After I have tested the first strip, I will move on to the next strip at this wire connection and so on until I have tested all of the LEDs. If you do have a bad LED strip, it is recommended to replace all of the strips in your TV as once one of them goes out, they can all begin to fail. The next test that we will show is how to test the LED strip. As you can see, we have two identical strips. I will begin by identifying the positive and negative test points at the end of the strip. Most strips should be labeled as positive and negative. Then I will power on my LED tester and then place the probes on the appropriate test point. Give the device five seconds to allow it to manage the voltage. As you can see, we have a good LED strip here with all of the LEDs illuminating at the same brightness. As we test this next strip, you can see that the LEDs are dim and some of them do not light up at all. We will now show how to test an individual LED. For the individual LEDs to help identify the positive and negative side, you can look to the end where they are labeled positive and negative for those test points, and then most strips should follow the positive side all the way down that strip and the negative side all the way down the strip. Once again, I will power on my tester and use the probes to run the test.